after my last film here on the youth elixir, embryonic cells, vampires, and how they get euphoric, like being drunk, on the extracted human embryonic cells, user Stonewall Tommy Jackson left us this shocking comment, Revelations 17.6, and I saw the woman being drunk with the blood of the saints. Our masters are literally and proverbially drunk with the blood of the saints, feeling great having all that power over the cattle, livestock of a farmed human race and feeling like drunk with the blood of the saints. Like Trumpstein here, persecuting the saints, like deliberately destroying this good man here, who has done nothing wrong, on the contrary, for showing the terrible crimes of Pharaoh's army on defenseless people and even children. With Trump literally thanking Pharaoh's army for their crimes. On Christmas Eve 2019, saying, You are tremendous warriors and we appreciate it so much. You can read it here. Trump literally thanks these criminal child killers for their crimes against humanity, while torturing and destroying the saints' lives only for bringing it into the public when it was giving, given to him. Nothing stolen here. So listen up, you YouTube Nazis. Mr. Trump supports violent organizations that kill innocent children by the thousands for more money for the elite. Where are your community rules now, eh, scumbags? There's a definite association with a violent organization here. And even thanking them for their crimes. Let me tell you, fucktube, what Trump did, and you show it on your YouTube, is a criminal offense called apology with a crime. Yet, you take my videos off and my entire channel Gure away for nothing at all, based upon your liar community rules, whereas all of my videos are against these crimes against humanity and for peace. So after hearing Trump on Christmas 2019 and New Year's Eve, committing an apology with a crime on YouTube saying, he appreciates the murders of a violent organization, breaking all your community rules. It came by no surprise that on January 3rd, 2020, barely three days after expressing his admiration and gratitude for these violent organizations, you can see here, as if he needed them in the very near future and already knowing what for. Trumpstein had the Iranian general Qasem Soleimani assassinated, and I will tell you why. Ten years ago and more, I used to give interviews in French on the Iranian Irib radio. Really nice people who were the only ones wishing me a happy new year and give me a phone call while I was sitting home alone while the rest of my family was invited by their local Swiss relatives who never invited me because Swissy hates immigrants. And I could literally feel the hatred of these people and of the Swiss in general, which I endured for 20 years in an utterly evil country in the Alps. But as I go fine along with myself, being used to be alone because of the hardships going through being an army deserter, I didn't mind really, and they were never able to break me, and the more they abused of me, the less I felt participating in their Swiss Nazi Templar society. So I was double happy, these very friendly Iranians calling me up, wishing me a happy new year, and I never forget this, as I never forget my friends, and never forget my enemies, I Swissy. So 
So when General Soleimani got droned, I got some fresh intel from Iran about what really happened. And I cannot tell you by whom for not to endanger my sources. But I can put you the Irib radio telephone number in the description and you can call him if you want and maybe tell him you don't want war with Iran or something. I don't know if the number is still valid because I have no phone myself as cell phones kill the bees. To understand why Trump assassinated Soleimani you must go back to November 15th 2019 when Iran saw its biggest protests since the Iranian revolution of 1979 against the Shah of Persia who couldn't even speak Iranian. So Iran's supreme leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei said the Islamic Republic is in danger, do whatever it takes to end the uprising. So the Iranian authority gangsters shot and killed 1500 people of which 17 teenagers and 400 women. So when General Qasem Soleimani heard this he was furious that in his absence while being in Syria and Iraq fighting the Islamic State, the rotten empire had decided to murder 1500 defenseless innocent men, women and children. You can compare this with the movie Gladiator when the corrupted Roman Empire back home had killed innocent people at home and even the entire family of General Maximus Decimus Meridius, who then turned on the empire going back to Rome to finish off the enemy within, while in fact he was fighting for that corrupted Rome and risking his neck for the rotten traitors and assassins back home. Or like burning the good women at the stakes while the men were away into the Crusades or children getting shot by the empire's police at home while the men are away doing imperialistic wars overseas for the elite. Isn't that right, Donald? So this was the imminent attack Mr. Trumpstein was talking about and had to be avoided at all cost. But how can an attack be imminent if you don't know where or when it was going to happen? and never ever any proof of this have been given. General Qasem Soleimani, the second man in the empire, was preparing a military putsch or a military coup against the rotten regime. Together with his battle-hardened men of the notorious Al-Quds Brigade, who had been away for a long time in a row not seeing their families and then hearing about the massacre on their own people and their own families whom they were trying to defend by fighting the Islamic State and then getting stabbed in the back. And General Soleimani loved the Iranian people for whom he was ready to sacrifice his life and the Iranians loved him like Che Guevara getting too popular. So lawyer Freemason Fidel Castro called the US where he was and that got Che killed and tortured by the Gestapo butcher of Lyon, Klaus Barbie, by then a colonel in the Bolivian army and who got to America working for the Swiss CIA through Operation Paperclip. Because dear people, there is not a single country in the entire world that is not ruled by Pharaoh and their aristocracy Th through their horizontal rule, New World Order, Freemason lodges, including Cuba, Iran, you name it. So Soleimani, the most popular man in the empire, became an uncontrollable force in the empire with his Al-Quds fighting force of battle-hardened man, having no other force in the empire that could take him on. So the Freemasons of Iran 
had already warned the worldwide Al Quds danger and that they couldn't deal internally with General Soleimani anymore, needing a US intervention, the only force capable of stopping Soleimani and his warriors. And then Soleimani made the terrible mistake to ask the Americans to help topple the Iranian regime, thinking that being an enemy of Iran, the US, would be happy to collaborate towards that goal. Also because the US and Iran and their Al-Quds Brigade had been fighting together for years against the Islamic State. But the Iranian general hadn't counted with the real face of Donald Trump, who pretends to be your best friend like Make America Great Again! and then stabs you in the back or uses Swiss CIA Reaper when he's got from you what he wants. And I promise you, he'll be sending drones after America's Americans too, in not too long time from now. So Trump used the Shia Muslim Iranians to fight the Sunni Muslim Islamic State. And when that was done, nobody needed Soleimani anymore, as he was getting an uncontrollable force endangering the regime in Iran. And then there is the oil, the petrol, on which the Kurds are sitting on in Kirkuk. And Soleimani himself, a Shia Muslim, was a military ally, ally of the Alawi Kurds, also part of Shia Islam. So leaving the Kurds with a very important loss in defense by killing Soleimani making it easier for the global elite to grab the Kurdish oil wells in the mainly geostrategical wars. People, there is no country in the world not being ruled by Pharaoh. Therefore, Iran too needed the 5G, which was a big deal because of the UN embargo against Iran. So the Chinese Huawei company somehow avoided the embargo by using the Skycom tech company. Therefore, Iran being the world's third concerning coronavirus casualties, and Italy even second. Now, why so many casualties in Italy and not the other European countries? Well, because they all use the Chinese weaponized 5G by the Huawei company, which was a big deal in Italian comp parliament about taking Huawei or not. As Dana Ashley explains in a brilliant film here, that the coronavirus started simultaneously with the 5G at the end of December 2019, when they launched the 5G network radiation and weaponized 5G shows the very same pulmonary and respiratory symptoms as the corona, whereas the virus itself is just a bad flu, nothing more. Sorry, I'll have no more time to make a video about that myself, because in half an hour we'll be in total lockdown here in France with the entire population under quarantine, at home, forbidden to go out. So people can't go to work, there will be famine, the econ economy will break down, internet will break down, money will have no more value, and they will force us the 666 chip mark of the beast in order to pay for food, and continue to live as the human livestock of the beast. So Georgie Guidestone's in progress, coming down hard and fast. Here's a title of a film on my other channel, Gats of Gats, which I made seven years ago, which tells you a couple of things about it, that the 666, it's Roman. It's www. As always, Pharaoh, had already announced their plans to each other through videos, books and comics on TV, just as they did before 9-11 
and I explain that in this video here there were signs already before on my other channel here and there are many many other videos well there used to be many videos about it that probably disappeared as well you know and this book from 1981 by Dean Cohns even announces a certain Wuhan 400 virus which got changed in 1989 from a former edition of the same book the Gorky the Gorky 400 virus as Gorky Park in Moscow as if they had decided to change the attack from Russia to China the title of the book is the eyes of darkness it says the eyes of darkness which is of course the pharaonic vajet related to Hathor which I explain in this video here here's the title here it says vajet and this is Hathor it's all related to the um, the eyes of darkness the title of the book so with the 5G Pharaoh doesn't need any more manual genocides like Pol Pot and the Khmer Rouge needing to butcher two millions manually by hand Khmer is from the pharaonic Khmer for soul pyramid and Rouge is the French word for red as the red house of Pharaoh altogether the pyramid functions to receive the souls of Pharaoh's red house aristocracy also in the 2017 asterix in italy comic the enemy within had announced their coming plans of total enslavement of humanity even calling it the coronavirus in 2017 these are the hidden ways of communication of pharaoh's aristocracy like hidden numbers secret hand signs secret symbols and of course the Wuhan 400 of that book refers to us the concept of four with a couple of O's behind indicating the vast quantity going to die and here look it's, it's all about Romans you see coronavirus hail Caesar and here's the um, Horus, the Falcon. This is the Freemason Ordo Abkao. They're playing us all. They're playing us as always. Out of the coming total chaos, they will create the order of their universe of Hathor over their farmed human race. My wife just told me she wanted to buy seeds today for growing vegetables in a garden as spring is coming up impossible to buy any as pharaoh's authorities in Switzerland have forbidden to sell grains they want us to starve people as in keeping humanity under 500 million good slaves and chipped carrying the mark of the beast Humanity has lost. Cure signing off.